friends. So today we are going to be drawing some grapes. Now I'm getting my inspiration from Art for Kids Hub, so I do not take credit for all the originality of this work, but I am going to draw it today with my students. So the reason why is we're going to be doing overlapping, and this is a new perspective where it shows three-dimensional uh, objects, but we are putting things on top of each other to make it look like they're stacked. We did that at the beginning of the year with fall leaves, and so we're just going to do another quick recap with that uh, with uh, a simple drawing such as grapes. So to start, we're going to draw one circle in the center. Okay, and you're going to do the whole circle, but every other grape that I do, it's going to be only part of the circle. So if I start like this and I go around, see, I'm only seeing the grape that's behind this one. All right, now we have one over here. Now that one's underneath this one. Then I'm gonna draw part of the circle like this. Another part of the circle. Basically, whenever I reach another line, I stop. And then you can even go like that, so you can still see the circle. Then I'm gonna go like this. And I can do as many grapes as I want. There's no limit to how much, and I can do it as big as I want or as small as I want. And I'm just gonna keep on making circles. You're going to make a circle as if you were going to make a regular circle. You just don't do the curve that's above here. All right, and now grapes usually have a fun tip and go to the bottom like this. All right, now the one in Art for Kids Hub, they only do about uh, six circles because they like to put funny faces in them. Um, and that's okay. We'll probably add some funny faces to ours as well. Um, the way that they did it was they used a pencil first and they, they drew the circles all together, but when they went over it with a marker, they just didn't do the whole circle. They erased their lines afterwards. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. Uh, it's really up to you and how, what works and what's easy. Oh, my fridge likes to make noises if you heard that. All right, now all grapes have stems to them. So we're going to put a big stem at the top and grapes are all connected with other small stems. Uh, Art for Kids Lab likes to do two big lines, but because the lines are really small when they're connected, I'm just gonna do small ones like this. All right, and then grapes most definitely have leaves. And their leaves are uh, a very specific shape to them. Just like they do in Art for Kids Up, they do a line like this. And it's not like a regular leaf where we just do two curved lines. It has oh, some jagged edges. So I'm going to start at the top. I'm gonna go down like that. That's the tip. And I'm gonna go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, until I reach this part. This is not the best leaf, but, and it's more pointed, but it gets the job done. Let's add some lines. All right, and there is our grapes. Now, Art for Kids Love loves to add some silly faces to their grapes, so I'm going to do the same thing. Add some fun little happy faces to make our grapes more interesting. <laughs> This one doesn't look particularly happy. <laughs> Do one down here. And <clears throat> how about one right about here? Make a little kissy face. And we'll do one up here. <laughs> okay, and there you have it. There are fun little grapes. So if you guys would color this in however you like, grapes are come in lots of different colors like yellow, green, purple, or red. And if you want to do that, uh, take a picture and send it in to Dojo so I can see what you guys have created. It'll be really fun. I haven't been seeing a lot lately. It makes me so sad and I want to see more. So please send me your drawings and uh, and I'll show you mine when it's all finished in color too. So have a great Friday and a great weekend and I'll see you next time friends, bye.